alligators, it's Allie Hardesty, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've been trying to film this for a few hours now, but kept getting distracted, it is now 10 o'clock at night, so we're going to get into this video. But before we do, I just want to ask your opinion on something, if I were to have a gator of the week, I know a lot of you guys hashtag gator fam, hashtag gator squad on Twitter, Instagram, and you guys even have YouTube channels of your own that you sometimes hashtag it or put me in your about me, your description, which I think is so awesome that you support my channel that much, so I want to just give back to you guys. My last last video I shouted out Haley in my description because she did her, a vlog of her own so I put her in there I put a link to her channel you guys should all go subscribe to her but I was wondering if I should do that more often I don't know if enough of you guys have channels or if you guys would be okay if I just shouted you out on Insta or Twitter like occasionally have like Gator member of the week let me know your guys' thoughts on that, and maybe we can start implementing that into my videos. Also, I'm going to bring this up one more time, just because I messed up last time when I said this. My Uber code is TRYFREE10, but it's actually $20 off. It's a $20 free ride, so not a $15 ride. It's a $20 free ride, and no, I do not know if it has to be your first ride. I just know it's $20 off free ride up to $20 value, so go ahead and use that, try free 10. You guys ask me questions on Snapchat, Twitter, and YouTube, so I have a list of a bunch of them in my phone right now that I'm just gonna go through. I am really sorry if I don't get to every single question. A lot of you guys asked questions that were very similar or the exact same, so hopefully I'll be able to answer a lot of them. Favorite song at the moment? Well, I love the song Cop Car by Sam Hunt. It's really old, but I recently just started listening to it again. But also Summer 16 by Drake. Hiking and beach or shopping and restaurant? Hiking and beach. I. The beach is one of my favorite places in the whole world. What Netflix shows are you into? Well, I am obsessed with Gossip Girl. I've watched every season, all the shows. My ex-roommate got me into it, and I literally, like, for two months straight, I just, that was Gossip Girl. That was just my life for two months. So, yes, Gossip Girl is amazing. I also like Orange is the New Black, which the next season is coming out in a couple months here. Then, what else do I watch on Netflix? Oh, Parks and Rec. The office. If you got offered a great job or school opportunity outside of the US for a two year minimum commitment, would you pack up and go? Yes. I don't think I would turn something down like that. I think that's such an amazing opportunity that a lot of people don't get and I love to explore. I'm totally fine like meeting new people like that, so yes. Ohio or California? High school wise, college wise, friends wise, food wise, social life wise. Well, I didn't go to college there, so I can only judge high school and they were both totally different high school experiences. I liked the academic side of the high school I went to in Ohio more than I did California, but the social aspect, I'm gonna have to go with California, but that might just be because I had more friends here, like I lived here longer. As far as food goes, there's so many good places to eat, both places, both states, so that's like tied completely. Any advice for upcoming freshmen at college? Yes, but I'm actually gonna make an entire video on that, so I'm not gonna say much in this video, but don't procrastinate. That will be my greatest downfall, is procrastinating. Also, take advantage of office hours. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Sincerely Gracie, Tana Mojo, Shannon Rose, Jesse Smiles are four of the people I've probably watched the most, but there's a lot of channels. I've, I've been like avidly watching YouTube for years, so. Would you do any meetups or ever go on tour to meet your fans? Yes. Uh, is that even a question? Um, yes, I would do that in a heartbeat, and I definitely plan on doing that. I know that in a couple of videos I've mentioned, like, hey, if you guys want to meet at the Drake concert or in Vallejo at Six Flags, but I know not all of you guys live in this area. I would just casually throw that out there because I'm going to be at those two places, you know? But no, I would totally travel to see you guys. I would take a plane and fly over to Texas. I feel like I have a lot of fans there because... Like, half my fan mail has been from Texas for some weird reason. Probably once my subscriber count gets a little bigger, I think I could start doing that. Have you ever had a near-death experience? Sort of, but I'm actually saving that for a story time, so... I know I'm gonna tell the story time, I just have to be mentally prepared to do so. Who is your celebrity crush? Drake and Justin Bieber, who I am both seeing in concert, Justin Bieber this summer and Drake in September, so... You guys are going to see some vlogs of me probably crying tears of happiness. It's going to be really embarrassing. Advice for beginning YouTubers. Again, I'm actually going to make a whole video on that probably sometime next week because I've been getting that question a lot. But just to give you a short answer, be yourself, be consistent. Post often. That's how you're going to get noticed. That's how you're going to gain subscribers. But you have to love what you're doing. If you're doing it for the fandom or for the money, then people are going to see right through that and then you shouldn't bother doing YouTube because it's not going to be worth it. You're going to be wasting your time. Do you find it difficult doing YouTube and how do people usually react when you tell them you're a YouTuber? 
I don't think it's difficult. I think it's time consuming, but I think it's actually very therapeutic being able to talk into the camera and have you guys listen to me and really care what I have to say. How do people react? The type of responses I usually get are questions about it, like a ton of questions, and then also they tell me that they want to start their own YouTube and ask if we can do videos together. That's like usually what I hear because I feel like not a lot of people know much about being a YouTuber, like behind the scenes. Like people watch YouTube but they're like, oh, like, what is it like? Like, what do you do? Like, what's this? What's that? So people just get really curious. If you could wake up tomorrow in the body of someone else, who would you pick and what would you do? Channing Tatum, I think, because he can dance like really good. <laughs> I, would, I would be Channing Tatum and I would just dance. I would just do the worm or whatever he does. What is your favorite hobby at YouTube? Sorry, I kind of like went straight from that question to the answer because like no pause there. Have you ever met a celebrity? I actually met Billy Ray Cyrus when I was like in fifth grade, but I didn't really like meet him meet him. He was just like, he saw me. We make, made eye contact, he winked at me and I waved and his bodyguards talked to me for like a minute, but like, I don't know if that counts. I was, you know, it was at the Hannah Montana concert. When and where was your first kiss? Sixth grade and it was outside in the quad area at school. Funny story, our teacher actually came outside and like chased us and like my boyfriend ran away. I dated him pretty much all of middle school. So it was just like a peck, but that was my first kiss. Type of personality you wouldn't get along with. I honestly feel like I get along with most everybody. Um, if I had to pick maybe like negative people, people who complain a lot or people who badmouth other people behind their back. What is the meaning of life in your opinion? To give life meaning, I think that you have to find that out for yourself. I think it's different for every person. Will you please share your bullying story time? Yes, I will. Again, that's a video I feel like I need to be like ready for, like I need to be in the right mindset. There's a lot of videos I can just come home from class and film. But I think that video, I have to like have the right mentality, you know, because it's also a really long time ago, like a lot of it. And there's just like a lot of things I've tried to block out. So I'm going to have to like really sit down and try to remember everything and tell you guys as openly as I can. Would you rather give up YouTube or Starbucks? Starbucks. I'm never giving up YouTube for anything. Worst experience with partying. Personally, I've never really had anything like too crazy happen to me just because I don't entertain that whole scene. I'm not even just saying this because I'm out in the public eye. Like I honestly don't like doing that kind of stuff like I don't think it's that much fun I think partying is cool like the social aspect of it but drinking and drugs and all that it's not worth it you guys don't do it like I know people are gonna experiment especially in college but people who are gonna do that just be responsible because I have like seen some bad things happen to my friends can you start doing live broadcasts on you now yes once I set up my account because I mentioned in my last vlog I messed up the account when I accidentally got myself banned so I need to figure that out once I do I will let you guys all know. I'll make a video announcing it. Any paranormal story times? Do you believe in paranormal stuff? I totally do. I actually have a really crazy Ouija board story time for you, and it's completely 100% legit. And if I can, I'm going to try to get someone else who is there to tell the story time with me. How many siblings do you have, and what is their gender slash age? Tell us about them. I have one little brother. Well, he's not little. He's younger than I am, but his name's Scott. I call him Scotty. He is going to be a senior in high school now and he is is he turning 18 he's turning 18 in july oh my gosh he's old that makes me kind of sad and yeah he's a boy uh he is an athlete he's really smart so he's basically like perfect like he'll probably get into any college he wants he plays lacrosse basketball he's played football before he just kind of does everything any news of that stalker slash catfish account Yes, and once I get it all sorted out, I will make an update for you guys. So hopefully in the next week, I will know a lot more. But right now, not much has changed, at least not to make a whole video. And I don't want to be making like, you know, update number five, update number 29. So I'd rather just like get it all out in the next video. So just bear with me, but I have not forgotten about you guys. Will you ever run out of story times? <laughs> Not likely. I have a ton and I feel like stuff happens to me on the daily that are story time worthy incidents or things. So no, I really don't ever think I will. Are you transferring to Chico for sure or only considering? Where else have you looked? Honestly, I say I'm considering just because I haven't really looked anywhere else, but I'm pretty for sure on it just because it's like kind of perfect for me it's like an hour and a half away from Reading but then it's like that much closer to Brentwood and it's just an awesome school and like what I want to do which is like business pretty much they have like that's like it's technically a business school it's like perfect for that and I just love Chico I have friends there I have friends who are transferring there also so 
I feel like that's probably where I'm gonna end up. First crush. Okay, I'm not gonna say his name on camera because I don't wanna embarrass him and I'm pretty sure he watches my videos, but it was this guy. Okay, everyone's gonna know who this guy is if they know me, but um, he was like our neighbor. <laughs> When I first moved to California and we were like best friends and then he was best friends with my brother too But he was my age. He was in my grade But um, yeah, so because of that he would spend the night at our house a lot And we would just like always hang out all the time and like I thought he was so cute He was the first boy I ever liked. How was your prom? Okay, I had a lot of proms junior prom was the dancing was awesome senior prom the food was awesome and the, like the overall experience was awesome because it was like kind of like a senior weekend um, and that was the first senior prom I went to. That was my ex-boyfriend's senior prom. But then my senior prom, honestly, prom for me wasn't that great, but after prom was lit. So they're all different experiences. What can you say about your fans? That you guys are amazing. You guys never fail to make me smile. And I'm so thankful for each and every one of you because I would be nothing without you guys on YouTube. Like, you guys are my supporters. You guys are my world. Are you a girly girl or a tomboy? I'd like to say I'm both just because like obviously I'm a girly girl like I'm super preppy and everything but I'm not someone who trips about her makeup or her hair or like her outfits like I have no problem wearing no makeup and not doing my hair just wearing sweatpants is actually kind of what I do naturally I, you guys should see what I'm wearing right now I'm definitely a girly girl I just don't think I'm like a prissy like I don't want to get dirty I don't want to like I have to like check how I look in the mirror every five seconds I'm not one of those girls favorite summer activity swimming do you want to be a unicorn or a dragon? Unicorn. Can you prank call Gabe? Um, he's gonna know it's me the second he hears my voice, so, uh, you guys can. Wait, I'm not gonna give out his number. Never mind. Okay, I'm sorry. That can't happen. Do you support gay marriage? I don't have, like, a strong opinion or belief on this. I know sometimes it makes people really upset if they feel one way or the other, but personally, I'm not gay. It doesn't affect me. I don't, like, want to get married to a girl. I think everyone deserves to be happy. If you could change one thing about your past, what would it be? Honestly, I wouldn't change anything, even the bad stuff, just because I think it's molded me into the person I was meant to be, and anything bad that's happened to me, I'm able to share and help other people, so I wouldn't change anything. Ever been in love? Yes. Um, I... I don't know if this is bad. I probably said it to like five people, like officially like said it, you know, but I think I probably only meant it for like two. Not like I didn't mean it when I said it. Not like I was being fake. It's just like, you know, I was young or it was like lust type of thing. But yeah, I think I've been in love twice. How many boyfriends have you had? I'm not going to count it if it was for less than a month or I was really young. Although I did have a boyfriend for pretty much like all of middle school and it was kind of legit. But I think, yeah, I think I've had four then. But I really only count, like, one of them um, as, like, a real relationship, you know? What is something about you that most people don't know and would be shocked to know? It depends who you are. Like, there's certain things about me that shock some people and some people aren't surprised at all. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of like an open book. Will you be creating a musically? I think that's how you say it. It's like the musical period Lee, L-Y. Um... I'm down to make one, yeah, but probably not till this summer just because I have finals and stuff right now and so having a Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and managing a YouTube and going to school is just a lot already. So um, I'm probably going to wait until I have some more free time this summer. Favorite pizza toppings? Well, I love white sauce pizza, also sausage and pineapple. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel below if you haven't already. Follow my social media. It's all in the description box below. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the amazing questions. And be sure to link some video ideas below because I will always take those into consideration. Later, alligators. Bye.